All right, well, if you are a true baseball fan, then you have probably heard of Lefty Gomez. Now, Lefty played on the Yankees in the 1930s, and he was the winning pitcher in the very first All-Star game in 1933, and he was the only man to win six World Series games without a loss. Sounds pretty impressive. Well, John Bannis, he joins us today, and he is Lefty's grandson, and he is the one responsible for a brand new book that is out. It is called Lefty. An American Odyssey. John, we want to welcome you to Sonoran Living. This is so exciting. Yes, thank you for having us. So there are a lot of people out there that probably, maybe they are baseball fans, but they maybe follow it a little more current now. Who was Lefty Gomez? Well, Lefty was my grandfather, my mom's dad. Right. Uh, and as you said, he was the really the money pitcher for that baseball's golden era with Ruth and DiMaggio and Gehrig, and just had that unique opportunity to span that period of time, which was the Ruth and Gehrig era to the DiMaggios. Okay. Uh, he was elected into the Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. and you know, I think in addition to just being a baseball player uh, with that fierce competitive spirit, he was also the glue of that locker room. There was always that one guy who was the funniest guy in the locker okay. room and became intimate friends uh, with, with all of the people. That so he was he like with. a class clown? I, you know, he had such an amazing wit. Uh, you know, he coined the phrase, I'd rather be lucky than good, okay. which you hear a lot today. Um, you know, my secret, uh, his success to pitching was um, fa uh, clean living and a fast outfield. Okay, there you go, that works. Um, you know, I think what's really fascinating is that, uh, how did this happen? You guys found some video of, of your grandfather. I, I mean, were you like looking in an attic one day? We're showing some of the video. This has never before seen video, right? It's never been on TV before. Yeah, never been seen by public. We're looking <clears throat> at it right now. How did you guys find this? You know, it was just, uh, this, whole, this whole exercise was like uh, buried treasure. Okay. Um, not only the, the film, but we were researching this book, and what really makes the book unique is that we did a lot of this research about uh, 30 years ago. So we had the opportunity to interview Joe and a lot of the people at the time, and as we were talking with Lefty... Was that Babe Ruth? Yes, it is. Babe That's Babe Ruth. They're in Japan at the 1934 All-Star uh, Tour of Japan, which was really the catalyst for the beginning of uh, Japanese baseball. Right. And uh, there's Babe, which has a... Uh, you know, not so not so great a golf swing, but looks a lot like his baseball swing. Exactly. So, so we've, exactly. <laughs> so we've got Babe and, and DiMaggio, and let's go back to the book for a second. Yeah. What are people going to get when they read the book? Do you have to be a baseball fan to read this book? You know, not at all. I mean, base, people will come to the book because you know, baseball fans will come to the book, but they actually leave the book fascinated by what a great guy he was, the humor in it. And Lefty and his wife had almost a Forrest Gump-like life. I mean, it was so fascinating. Their journey crossed with... Did he play basketball, too? Uh, no, that was his son, Duane. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, wow, he was good at a lot of things. But they crossed over so many people's lives and events. Ernest Hemingway, Marilyn Monroe, uh, President Bush, Fidel Castro, I mean, just phenomenal stories all the way through. And what I really found interesting was the intimate relationship that he had with these folks. Uh, when I was in college, uh, Joe and Lefty invited me out one night. You know Joe. Jo Joe DiMaggio. You know Joe DiMaggio. <laughs> they call you up, you're in college. I'm and in they college say, and I'm studying for a test. And they're like, you know, they're a lot like family. So I know I'm busy, I got to study. And he said, no, come on out. I've got, you know, and he you know, lays out four or five people that are there for a March of Dimes event. This was here in Scotts, in Phoenix? Uh, yeah, we were actually in, uh, I was actually in Boston at the time, oh, okay. going to college. And, you know, we go down and they've set up, set aside the entire bar area for them and six people sitting around the table telling these warm stories. And, you know, Joe DiMaggio, the Mr. Coffee ads notwithstanding, was a very intensely private and quiet guy. Right. And what I loved about this was Joe would be sitting there, sitting behind Lefty saying, Lefty, tell him that story or tell him this story. And then Lefty was the mouthpiece for, right. for Joe with all these stories. And the stories we heard, one of my favorites was... Uh, Joe had come to visit uh, Lefty uh, at uh, his son's high school game. Right. And they went to church, and Lefty was, you know, passing, you know, passing around the basket. And Joe's sitting there, and the basket comes to him, and Joe puts it. I mean, Lefty puts it in front of him. Joe puts in two dollars, and Lefty sat there, kept poking. 
Joe until he put in about 20 because bucks. Because Joe has right, and the entire right, the entire people are watching this. But well, it sounds like a fascinating book. Whether you know you're a baseball fan or you're not, great Father's Day gift, if I might add. And uh, yeah. we appreciate you're a local guy. You live here in Scottsdale, yes. and how how really neat that you're sharing this with us. And we're seeing footage that nobody has ever seen before. We are going to have uh, all of the information about how you can get your hands on this amazing book. It's going to be on our website. You can check it out at SonoranLiving.com. Thank you, John. Thank you very much. And now for another surprise giveaway for our audience. Pull out your numbers, friends. Go ahead and pull them out right now because Athena Greek Cuisine Restaurant in Phoenix wants to give away two $100 gift cards to two lucky members of our audience. Great food over there. So go ahead and pull them out, and then I'm going to get some...